quite often when you're making something, the components that you're working on, so the models and the drawings, have symmetry. So one side looks just like the other side. Now, I've got the shape here, which I've just created. It's of nothing in particular, but imagine if we wanted the right side of the model looking just like the left, and this bit here is the left. And I want them joined together along this face. So basically, I want this to be the mirror edge. How do I do this? Well, I could simply draw another version. I could um, create it from scratch that way, and I could try and you know, extrude to bits and use measurements, and that would work, and I could do it. But it's going to take time, it's going to take precision, I can make mistakes, and it's just something which is too much hassle for me. So what um, you do is select the whole of your model, just draw a box around it, and edit, copy. By the way, you can use shortcuts on things. I just like to show that menu when I'm doing examples. So it's now copies. Edit, paste. And you'll see a carbon copy appears. It doesn't really matter where you place it. I'm gonna place it just there because I can. So we've got two copies of the same version. And the one on the right is still selected. If you right click and say flip along, you can choose direction. Now, if I choose red direction, you'll see it flips there. So you've got to imagine a line going 90 degrees to the name of the line given. If that doesn't make too much sense, then don't worry. The best thing you can do is just play with this. And after a while, you'll just know that flipping this way is red, flipping that way is green. And frankly, if you've made a mistake, you can just undo it and choose a different one, but flip along red direction. Okay, so we're almost there. We now have two mirror sides. I can now select this and click Move. And remember, when you're moving things, you're going from point to point. So I want this point here to touch that point there. So I select this point there and touch it at that point there. Okay, so you can see that we have now put these together. And just finish this off, because at the moment we have two different models just touching. To make it one, take the eraser tool, and we're just going to remove those lines if you see and there we have it we have now made a copy that's one of objects and we can keep doing this so um, edit copy edit paste there it is flip along green direction this time because it's a different one move from there to there, take our magic tool, the eraser, and there we have it. And once again, let's do another piece, shall we? Selecting the whole thing. Um, keep doing that right click. Copy, edit, paste, chuck in there, flip along blue direction, move from that corner there. To touch. This where it gets a little bit tricky with um, viewpoints. That point there, which is great. Take our thing. Raise, raise, erase, erase. So what I produced here is this just silly little object, which isn't real of anything but it's got symmetry all around. And I've made that just from making one piece, copying it, flipping it, moving them together. So the copy and flip tool for mirroring is really powerful and making quite nice items with symmetry.